Welcome to St Mary's Priory Abergavenny and to our service of choral evensong, sung by the Virtual Priory Choir. We start our service with verses 41 to 48 of Psalm 119. The Old Testament lesson is written in the first book of Chronicles, in the 29th chapter, commencing at the first verse. And David the king said to all the assembly, Solomon my son, whom alone God has chosen, is young and inexperienced, and the work is great, for the palace will not be for man, but for the Lord God. So I have provided for the house of my God, so far as I was able the gold for the things of gold, the silver for the things of silver, and the bronze for the things of bronze, the iron for the things of iron, and wood for the things of wood, besides great quantities of onyx and stones for setting, antimony, coloured stones, all sorts of precious stones, and marble. Moreover, in addition to all that I have provided for the Holy House, I have a treasure of my own of gold and silver, and because of my devotion to the house of my God, I give it to the house of my God. Three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, for overlaying the walls of the house, and for all the work to be done by craftsmen, gold for the things of gold, and silver for the things of silver. Who then will offer willingly, consecrating himself today to the Lord? 
Then the heads of the fathers' houses made their freewill offerings, as did the leaders of all the tribes, the commanders of thousands and of hundreds, and the officers over the king's work. They gave for the service of the house of God 5,000 talents and 10,000 darics of gold, 10,000 talents of silver, 18,000 talents of bronze, and 100,000 talents of iron. And whoever had precious stones gave them to the treasury of the house of the Lord in the care of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced because they had given willingly, for with a whole heart they had offered freely to the Lord. David the king also rejoiced greatly. Here ends the Old Testament lesson. The New Testament lesson is written in the Gospel according to St. Mark, in the 11th chapter, commencing at the 27th verse. And Jesus and the disciples came again to Jerusalem. And as he was walking in the temple, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders came to him. And they said to him, By what authority are you doing these things, or who gave you this authority to do them? 
Jesus said to them, I will ask you a question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was the baptism of John from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But shall we say from men? They were afraid of the people, for all held that John was a real prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these things. Here ends the New Testament lesson. Forgive those that trespass against us. 
Sing the anthem Lead Kindly Light by Sir Arthur Sullivan. Yeah. 
Let us pray. Let us pray for the Church, praying today in our Anglican cycle of prayer for the Diocese of Pangshin in the province of Nigeria and the Diocese of the Central Philippines in the province of the Philippines. In this diocese we pray for Cherry, our Bishop, and also today for the Upper Isloin Ministry area. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom all good things do come, Send down upon our bishops, priests and deacons, and all congregations committed to their charge, the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, Lord, for the honour of our Advocate and Mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed, kindle, we pray thee, in the hearts of all men the true love of peace, and guide with thy pure and peaceable wisdom those who take counsel for the nations of the earth, that in tranquillity thy kingdom may go forward, till the earth is filled with the knowledge of thy love, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We bring before God in our prayers all those who are suffering at this time. Almighty and everlasting God, the comfort of the sad, the strength of those who suffer, let the prayers of thy children who cry out of any tribulation come unto thee, and to every soul that is distressed, grant thou mercy, grant thou relief, grant thou refreshment. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. On this ember day, we pray for those who are shortly due to be ordained deacon or priest or licensed as reader. Almighty God, the giver of all good gifts, who by thy divine providence has appointed various orders of ministers in thy church, Give thy grace, we beseech thee, to all those who are called to any office and ministration in the same, and so replenish them with the truth of thy doctrine, and endue them with innocency of life, that they may faithfully serve before thee, to the glory of thy great name, and the benefit of thy church, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to thee, and dost promise that when two or three shall agree in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfil now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. My Lord, be